Hey Rachel, where are we going and what are we doing? Back here again. Okay, we're going to do Mount Columbia, so we're going to go up the ice fields here. Slave away for two days. The route of suffering makes its way up the Athabasca Glacier, up the ramp, and up onto the ice field. And if the views of the Twins, Andromeda, Snow Dome, and Columbia don't leave you breathless, the vertical gain certainly will. As to complete this objective, you will need to do over 2400 meters of vert car to car. After gaining the ice field, you cross over into British Columbia and eventually descend down into the trench, where we decide to set up camp. Passing the trench, you continue for 7 kilometers uphill to the base of Mount Columbia, where you have a 650 meter boot pack to gain the summit. The route is one of the 50 classic ski descents of North America and for good reason. The area contains the largest ice field in the Canadian Rockies and views of some of the largest mountains in Alberta. Skiing this mountain is an accomplishment and experienced mountaineers typically take multiple attempts to bag this peak as the weather can change quickly. So make sure you have a solid weather window before attempting this mountain. All right, gang, let's get in the, the shot. So. I guess, Mark, where are we? What are, what are we doing? Columbia. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there was the glacier in 1908. And there it is now. Pretty sad. Your first glacier, what do you think so far? Ready to go. Ready to go. Woo! What do you think, Brian? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Just on the glacier, all roped up. About to head up the ramp route. Hey, making some progress here. Skyliner back down there. Put you guys up on it. This is Mark, and we are almost at the ramp route. Let's see where that goes to, also. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. That's a good one. She's going, yeah. Come up the side of the ice fall. With the Ciroc has it on our right. We're gonna take a hard left pretty quick. Coming to the left hand side of the ice fall here. Staying away from the Ciroc's. Brenna and the team in the front. All right, just coming up the last part of the ramp here. Beautiful. Alright. Just about to gain the saddle or the the bench. Gained the ice field. Just about to the top of the ice fields. It just keeps going and going. So we can just see the tip of Columbia now. Just crossing the ridge, you can see Columbia in the background. It's a 
looking mighty big. All right, we're heading down towards the trench. Columbia in the background. Snow dome over here. Mark stoked. From the 11,000 er book, it's really hard to get an idea of size or scale. But the, the mountain's huge. It looks quite small in, in the book and some of the trip reports, but the closer we get, the bigger it, bigger it looks here. So it's quite, uh, we're still about seven, seven K away. We decided to camp in the trench because we thought this would protect us against wind and weather. However, this might not have been the best decision as it involved us carrying our gear much further and camping on snow dome and then skiing down the next day as we saw a guide do seemed to be a much more efficient way and this would save you the pain of carrying all your gear back up the trench after you're exhausted from bagging columbia at eight o'clock in the morning everyone is froze to death and sunburnt there's a campsite rachel's getting ready Mark is so stoked on his new backpack and Columbia in the distance. We came to the trench last night. All right, Columbia is looking closer and closer. All right. A little bit closer, just about the base. Rachel's leading the way. What do you guys think? You got the base of Columbia. Lord, you got anything to say? You're on camera. <laughs> All right. Nathan. Almost where it rolls over. Here's where we came from. Anything you want to tell the, the video? I'd just like to say, I thought it was a lot warmer in Colombia. Yeah. <laughs> I goes, they are all going. Good job, man. Summit is right there. Woo! Woo! This is wild. I'm gonna get too close to that. Yeah. Columbia. Cheers. A ceremonial Pilsner. Summit beer. Summit beer. Okay, we'll see you in a bit, honey. I love you. Thanks. As I began skiing down the upper portion of Mount Columbia, a thick cloud suddenly materialized out of nowhere. However, a few moments later and the cloud had disappeared. This was a testament to how quickly the weather can change on Columbia, for the better or for the worse. After seeing the weather change, I decided to rush down the mountain to the British Columbia side, and I was successful in getting some of the best drone footage I've ever taken, and I hope you enjoy it.
footage was no easy feat. It involved lugging a drone, batteries, and controller up over 2,000 meters and 40k, sleeping with batteries against my body to ensure they wouldn't lose their charge in the cold weather overnight, and being lucky enough to time the weather with my friends skiing down. This was really the shot of a lifetime. On this day we had quick conditions and we were able to eat up the kilometers and ski almost the entire way back to our campsite at the trench. I got some sick shots, you guys. I nice shot. no. The way out of the trench, we are exhausted. <laughs> we have lots of gear. We're tired and half the basque in the background. Oh, sorry, Columbia in the background. We are almost out. Hey, sweetheart. This is a sweet shot. Oh! This looks cool. We get like a smooth, slow angle. From the top of the ice field, we were able to ski seven kilometers all the way back to the toe of the glacier. But skiing back home isn't without its dangers. There are two options, skiing through the treacherous, crevassed icefall, or swiftly skiing under the looming seracs. As we knew we could ski quickly, we opted for the route underneath the seracs and decided to minimize our time spent beneath them. Really good work. Excited to be almost finished this two-day epic adventure, we rushed back to the car, where we knew a bag of salt and vinegar, Miss Vicky's chips, awaited our arrival. We just skied the highest mountain in Alberta, which is a long ways in. Mountain in Alberta, Mount. Ski the highest mountain in Alberta, Mount Cross. <laughs> Mount, Col Mount Columbia. Wow, Mount yeah. Columbia. Oh, fuck. 
Where do you want me to put this, Mark? Put on the blocks for now. Okay. Oh man. Mount Columbia was an epic venture, and one that lives up to its name. Skiing this mountain requires fitness, stamina, experience, knowledge, a strong weather window, and of course, a great group of friends to share it with. If you're still watching, I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to visit my YouTube channel. I do this as my hobby, and these videos take me months to put together. If you could please consider liking and subscribing, it really goes a long ways to helping my channel grow. Thanks again, and until next time.